Today we're diving into a topic that's been buzzing around the self-improvement sphere dopamine detox. Specifically, we'll explore whether watching YouTube fits into this detox journey. If you're ready for an insightful discussion, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and let's jump into the world of dopamine detox and YouTube. Before we delve into YouTube, let's briefly understand what dopamine detox is. It's a concept that gained popularity in the realm of self-improvement, advocating for a break from activities that trigger excessive dopamine release, the brain's feel-good neurotransmitter. The goal? To reset your brain's reward system and regain control over your impulses. Now, let's address the dilemma should you or shouldn't you watch YouTube during a dopamine detox. It's a nuanced topic, so let's break it down. One argument in favor of watching YouTube during a dopamine detox is the abundance of educational content. Many creators on this platform offer valuable insights, tutorials, and knowledge that can contribute to personal growth. Whether it's learning a new skill, gaining insights into a subject, or finding motivation, YouTube can be a valuable resource for self-improvement. The key here is mindful consumption. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through an endless stream of videos, be intentional about what you watch. Choose content that aligns with your goals, interests, and contributes positively to your well-being. On the flip side, YouTube can be a source of overstimulation, which is exactly what Dopamine Detox aims to address. The platform is designed to capture and retain your attention, often leading to a continuous loop of video after video. This constant stimulation can hinder the detox process and perpetuate reliance on external stimuli for satisfaction. Another concern is the potential for comparison and FOMO, fear of missing out. As you watch others showcase their achievements or lifestyles, it might trigger feelings of inadequacy or the sense that you're not doing enough. This psychological impact can counteract the positive intentions of a dopamine detox. So where does that leave us? The middle ground. Finding balance is the key. Instead of an all-or-nothing approach, consider moderating your YouTube consumption with intention. Set clear boundaries for your YouTube time. Designate specific periods for watching content and use that time intentionally. It could be a part of your daily routine or a dedicated slot during your week. By setting boundaries, you ensure that YouTube remains a tool for enrichment rather than a source of distraction. Let's wrap up with some practical tips. If you decide to watch YouTube during a dopamine detox, consider the following. Curate your feed. Tailor your subscriptions to include channels that align with your goals and interests. Use playlists. Create playlists that cater to specific themes or topics, allowing for a more structured and purposeful viewing experience. Mindful watching. Be present and engaged while watching. Avoid multitasking and truly immerse yourself in the content. As we navigate the landscape of dopamine detox, it's essential to address the broader impact of social media with YouTube being a significant player. Social platforms are engineered to capture and retain our attention, often leading to an influx of dopamine-triggering experiences. Let's talk about the scroll effect. Whether it's YouTube's recommended videos or the endless feed on other platforms, the act of scrolling provides a constant stream of new stimuli. Each scroll, click, or video view can release a burst of dopamine, contributing to the cycle of overstimulation. Beyond content consumption, social interactions on YouTube and other platforms play a role. Likes, comments, and notifications serve as social rewards that trigger dopamine release. While these interactions can be positive, they also contribute to the addictive nature of these platforms. Now, here's a challenge for your dopamine detox journey. Consider taking a break not only from watching videos, but also from engaging in social interactions on YouTube and other platforms. This detox includes refraining from checking likes, responding to comments, or seeking validation through notifications. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate sources of enjoyment, but to cultivate a healthy relationship with them. YouTube can be a tool for growth and entertainment when approached mindfully. And there you have it, our exploration of whether you should or shouldn't watch YouTube during a dopamine detox. It's all about finding that delicate balance, being intentional with your choices, and using this platform as a tool for enrichment. What are your thoughts on this topic? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching and see you next time.